Should we go hunting? Should we let Mary die of cholera? Etc. I prefer dysentery. On this episode of Doing the Most, we are testing the difference of cheap honey versus expensive honey in a hydromel. Homemade brews and various artists, everything from meat to rose. Bake creation, fermentation, inebriation, doing the most. So we've done this test kind of before. We yep. did it with cheap red wine tannin and expensive soft FT Blanc tannin. We decided to take it a step further and now test for honey quality. I don't know if you recall. We prefer the cheap tannin. Yes. So in these batches, I use cheap tannin. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> and then one of them has got uh, orange blossom honey that's about $6 a pound. So for a batch this size, that comes out to like $36. Okay. And then the other one has honey that clocks in at just over $2 a pound. So for a batch this size, you're looking at... 13 or 14 dollars would change. So a third of the cost. Yes. Basically. And and so these batches, the way they were brewed, they were brewed with the entirety of the honey being that honey. Mm -hmm. At a later date, we'll do another test where we test just back sweetening with cheap versus expensive. So stay tuned for that. But right now, what we're going to do is a triangle test. Have you ever been part of a triangle test? I don't think so. Why don't you explain to me how this is going to work? I will explain to you how we're going to do it. Okay. <laughs> I have also never been part of a triangle test, and one of our commenters recommended that we test it this way so we can remove any sense of personal bias from, from the process. And uh, there's a great brewing blog called Brewlosophy that does mm -hmm. this to test all sorts of different things. You should check them out. I'll put a link in the description. So what we're gonna do is we're going to taste test three cups of mead three times in a row. Okay. So we're each gonna have our three cups. Anna, our scientist, our our researcher, our... I'm really like a lab assistant. Our lab assistant. <laughs> lab assistant number one is going to pour our, our cups. So we're going to do two of one and one of the other. We will not know if we have two of the control and one of the variable, two of the variable and one of the control. I may have something different than you have, and we're gonna do this three times. And our goal with each round is to identify which two cups are the same and which one is the outlier. And then at the end of it, Anna will tell us if consistently we could tell which one was the same and which one was different. And then we'll talk about which one we felt like we preferred. Well, all I, that makes sense. I'm sure it makes just it's clear as. Mine. I mean, you'll see. Yeah, put, as it like, goes. Some instructions. Yeah, I'll put. There. There'll be a graphic. Cut in the like one of these things is not like the other song. Is that? I think that's fair use. Pretty so, sure. I feel like that's really. <laughs> that's that's necessary. Anna is going to mark three cups for each of us. She is going to do pours off of the kegs, and uh, we'll start the test. three glasses you know exactly what's in these mm -hmm. and we're gonna taste them the goal is to do this quick okay like we take a taste we make a determination and we set them forward and say these are these are what we believe they are can you note a comment when we say like I prefer the the pair or I prefer the solo okay. so that way you can also yeah. track like which one we thought was yeah. best out of our, our three because it would be really funny if Alternatingly, we thought that different things were best. Okay. Yeah, that would, yeah. Be, that would be tragic. Okay, so quick, taste, 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 decide, and then tell her which one's best, and then we'll go in round two. Okay. Okay? Perfect. See, that's not fair, you saved some. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, drink it fast, I already right. downed all mine. He gave you bad instructions. Sorry. Which ones, which of your sets did you think was the best? I thought this was a little better. I also thought that my single cup was the better one. I have a feeling that we have different opinions. <laughs> I'm gonna have to check the bottoms of the cups. Yeah, the, we can leave and you okay. can make all your notes. So 
you both felt that your single cup was was better. the better one. Yes. Okay. I think. This is really <laughs> hard though, back to back, because the difference is fairly subtle, I think, but going back between yeah. all of them like yeah. that. I that's that's how I feel. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Round two. All right. And yeah, feel free to leave a little in the cup so you can double back. <laughs> Probably not a bad idea. <laughs> this time. Round two. Go. Go. <laughs> I'm not confident this time around. Are you? Yeah, pretty sure. I mean, I could be totally wrong, but I am confident in my decision. That's how you have to make decisions. You just have to decide and move on with your life. <laughs> How's that working out for you? Not good. No, this is, this is harder this time. And I don't know if it's because, like, my blood's pumping now. Okay, and your preferences. Okay. So, solo's again. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Okay. All right. Okay. Round three. We know the game now. Go. I honestly have no clue. Really? Yeah. I'm. I maybe don't have a refined palate. I don't know. Maybe, and I could be totally wrong. I kind of feel like there's a discernible difference each time, but I don't okay. know. All right. What What do you? So you prefer that? I think so. I prefer my pair this time around. Okay. All right. Okay. So. Tally us up. You were both correct twice and incorrect once. Okay. I'm going to guess I was incorrect the second round. You were incorrect the first round. Really? And you were incorrect the second round. Yeah, I could not tell the second uh, round. I was having huh. a lot of trouble. However, this is the weird thing. You consistently liked the same thing. You liked the cheap one every time. You liked the expensive one every time. What the hell? <laughs> Interesting. Well, that's not very helpful. <laughs> so, yes, you can tell a discernible difference. Yeah, I think I, I think it is difficult. Did you feel like it was difficult? I was fairly confident, but I guess the second round, like... No, you I were just, right the second round. The I was wrong, round, wrong the first, first round. You were wrong the first round, you were wrong the second round. You were both right the third time, so you just need to practice. It is really subtle, though. Yeah. The difference is, let's get a glass. Let's have like an actual drink of our favorite. And okay, yeah, that's a great about, idea. Let's... Then we can talk about what we like. About. Oh, are you going to get us glasses? That was my that's so kind of you. Every time that I made the decision for the one I liked, uh -huh. I liked it a lot better. Like, I mean, it's very similar, but I was like, yeah, this is good. Like immediately. Interesting. So I didn't sit there and have to I, think. I had one trouble. I, I had trouble discerning, and I think what I noticed. For me, what felt different about the cheap one, I felt like there was something bitter happening in there. I thought it was more a more well-rounded flavor profile, actually. That's so interesting. Oof, man, yeah. just, we just inhaled carbonation. Yeah. But they are slightly different in color. Yeah, they? set that side by side. Yeah, yeah, the cheap honey is is dark, considerably darker. See, and I almost thought that the more expensive one had too much of like a high-end bite. Like the high note for me was like a little off-putting compared to what I would consider the more basic notes of the cheaper honey. Each of the three times we consistently picked that we liked the same thing. So I think our flavor preference is defined. Yes. So what, what if anything, did we learn here? That it's probably not worth it. <laughs> For you. 
Well, okay. <laughs> it might be worth it for you 60% of the time. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I liked it every time. I liked them both very much, but in order to tell a difference, and if I had to pick, I think I would have to go with the cheaper one. Obviously, the variable, the, the biggest variable at play is the flavor of the honey itself. Because there is some acid amendment that gives it that that brightness and that pop and that roundness. But what we're really talking about is the flavor of the honey. And I guarantee you, if we did this test with the honeys, mm -hmm. unfermented, you would know definitely which one was the expensive honey because they taste vastly different. I mean, yeah, I guess if you're just wanting to crush five of these after you mow the lawn, then honey quality probably doesn't matter, but well, it matters. It matters to the extent that you don't want to make something out of just total garbage. Particularly if you're making a traditional where you've got a gallon of honey in a five gallon batch. Yeah. It's really probably gonna make a difference. But for this, I think I think I, for the hydromel, I just don't I can think... agree with you that it probably doesn't make enough of a difference to justify three times the expense. I don't know. I think I think the cold interferes with this. And maybe maybe I shouldn't have chilled the kegs, but I'm glad you did. <laughs> I, I like Hedrimel's cold. Yeah, no, it's it's obviously it's better cold. But I I was telling him when we were in the the living room that every time that like cold wash over my teeth was like jarring enough that I forgot what the last thing tasted like. Um, whereas I think if they were room temperature, we'd be able to base that better. But okay, so cheap honey in the Hydromel is fine. Just mind your acid and tannin adjustments, and use cheap tannin. Because also yeah. it doesn't it doesn't matter nothing matters in this recipe it's always good. So what are we gonna test next with with this with the hydromel? So the next test for the hydromel the next A B test we're gonna do is we're gonna do two five gallon batches. Each of those is gonna be brewed using cheap orange blossom honey, at two dollar ish a pound orange blossom honey, and then on the back sweetening, they get a pound of honey in a five gallon batch to back sweeten. One is going to use cheap honey to back sweeten, and one is going to use expensive honey to back sweeten. And after doing this test, I can almost guarantee <laughs> we're not going to know the difference. But we have to try. <laughs> because then you're you're cutting your your variable down by four fifths. Yeah. At that point, I think that's right. No, five sixths. You're cutting it down by five sixths because there's six pounds only. So now you can become a patron or a YouTube member. Link's in the description. Also follow us on Instagram and Pinterest at doing the most okay. And do you have any closing thoughts? Parting advice, sage wisdom? <laughs> the last video it started with you saying the world's going <laughs> to drink me. I haven't changed my mind yeah, about that's, that. that's still true. Fair enough. Checks out. Stay safe. <laughs>